Last week we saw that Jesus calls us to be the light of the world, to actually be a town built on a hill that can't be hidden, but that instead actually shines brightly so that others might look at us and see him. And we saw that the first way that he calls us to do that is actually by serving the body of Christ, by building up his body. And this week we're going to see something that kind of complements that and ties into it. And it's that Jesus actually has a radical vision for his community, for his church, to actually love and care for people in a way that is so different from the world. You see, I remember someone telling me a few years ago that the first step to people actually hearing about Jesus is they need to know that you're a Christian. And that's kind of like, duh, obvious. People need to know you're a Christian. But then beyond that, they actually need to see that you're a Christian. They need to look at the way that you act and go, yeah, his life kind of matches with Jesus. That's what we've been thinking about this term when we consider that we actually are following the way of Jesus. They said there's actually a third thing beyond that that's really important for people if they're ever going to believe in Jesus. And the third thing was that they need to have an I want that moment where they look at your life and just go, oh, I wish I had what that Christian had. Have a listen with me to what uh, we hear in Acts chapter 2 because it's one of those I want that moments that our world needs to see. Luke records this for us in Acts. It says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer, some of the things that we've been looking at in the last few weeks. And it says, Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All of the believers were together, and they had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and they ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all of the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who had been saved. You see, as people looked on at this community that looked at the words of Jesus and prayed to Him, but also were a community of radical love and radical, uh, sacrificial giving to each other, God started saving people. You know, I wonder if anyone looked on at our community, would they see that? Would they see radical love and generosity? Would they see that we're a community that actually loves each other like Jesus? Would they see that we love Jesus' people? Or would they just think that that's a part of our mission statement? Think about the people in your youth group. Think about those older than you and younger than you at Solis. As people come here, would they actually look at us and see what we just read? You see, the challenge for us tonight is to actually take the call of Jesus seriously. To be the light of the world and to love like he's loved us. How are you going to do in that in our community? How can you do that more in your community group and with those in your youth group? As we dig into God's word now, let's prepare our hearts to actually be changed by Jesus so that our lives might look like his.